Hello and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about a stock called Phase. Um, this is a very hot stock right now and there's been a discussion from last few days on the forums on, on Wall Street Bets as well. So I thought it would be a good idea to make the video. And again, the objective here is to get you guys information that you can use if you're investing in the stock and to know whether this is a long-term stock or a short-term stock. It's very important to know where the stock currently is because if you're investing in it, thinking about a long-term and you bought it at a price that actually is not a true price for the stock because everything is supply and demand, right? If there's a greater demand, uh, you know, and, and of course the price is going to go up. And if you buy it at a price that is not really a true demand and it was just a momentum uh, trading that was happening and you end up, you know, getting stuck with it and the stock falls and you're thinking it's going to go back back up and, and you end up not coming out of the stock and then you end up, you know, putting a lot of money in a stock which went down. Now you're waiting, you know, almost six months trying to have the stock go up, which most of the cases usually doesn't happen, right? So the objective is to get you guys all that information. Again, we're going to combine the technicals with the fundamentals and try to get you the answer that you're looking for, right? So let's talk about the company. The company launched in July. The stock was around $8 and went up to $22. And now the stock is around $17.15. And let's talk about the fundamentals first, right? It's a $1.26 billion company, right? Market cap is good. It's not a, a bad market cap. It's a great market cap because they were able to sell a lot of stocks. And, and this is what, you know, drove the market cap um, higher. Right? The average stock that are traded for the company is about $1 million, which is, again, is a great number because if you have a stock you're holding on to and you want to sell it, you don't want to be waiting 30 minutes trying to sell a stock because, you know, there's not enough volume every minute. So this is a good volume. So trading in it, you know, on a day trade, uh, on a day trade, or for example, even a swing trade, for example, selling it would not be a problem. As far as the total assets, liabilities, and stockholders equity be concerned, um, I checked out their balance sheet from SEC, from 10K filings I did with SEC. Um, so there's a lot of documentation on that. So, I, you know, it, it, they were saying the same thing that they had in 2020, maybe greater. So which means that right now they're not profitable. Okay, and long story short, negative 72 million stock of the equity which means that they have a lot more liabilities than they have generating total assets right so their total stockholder equity is about negative 72 the cash flow is also not that great um uh which means they have about 17 million everything is by thousand so if you see 17 thousand about 17 million so they have about 17 million on hand which means if they do liquidate they don't have a lot of things this is a red flag okay as far as the institutional banks are holding for the stock, it's about 16%. Again, this is, to me, it's mostly short sellers. Institutional banks are not in it for the long term, and I think this is just they're trying to short sell it so so make a quick money on retail investors, okay? Look at the um, the short interest on the stock. It's about 99%, which means anything about 8, 10, it's, 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 you know, it's very much a very risky stock. 99%. You bet on it like, you you know, there's got to be short squeezes on it. This is where you got to make the money, short squeeze, okay? And when the interest rate is short interest is so high, the best way to make money is is the short squeeze, okay? So let's look at the chart where I, when, I, when I'm talking about the short squeeze. What happens is when you have a lot of people betting against the stock and they're selling you the stock and they borrow the stock from the broker, they're selling you the stock because they know the stock is going to fall further and when the stock falls further, they buy the stock from the market, they sell it to the broker, so they make their profit. The short squeeze, however, happens when you have uh, short sellers. Let's say, for example, just to give you an example right here, you have short sellers shorting the stock. Somebody came in, they bought 38,000 um, shares of the company. Uh, the green candle came in. A lot of momentum traders came in. They bought the stock, and now short sellers are trying to cover their losses, so they bought the stock so they could pay back the broker. Is, you know, causing the short squeeze, okay, the pricing is going up and up and not really driven off of any fundamentals, not driven off of anything. This is definitely just short squeeze. And this is where you got to make the money. But you got to know every stock goes through four phases. There's accumulation, markup, distribution, and decline. When decline happens, and you have, this is where the support and resistance comes in handy, right? So right now, there's a resistance at $16.75. And right now, the stock is in decline phase. Comes here, it stops right here. A lot of limit order kicks in and you have some accumulation right here. Now, after accumulation is always, accumulation go, can go on for a couple of a couple of hours, a couple of days, and then you got to have a markup, okay? For example, just to back up a little bit right here, this is accumulation right here. Then there's a huge markup distribution and there's a little bit of uh, more markup right here and then you have a decline. And that decline did not go all the way back down, it stopped right here, Okay. So that's what I'm trying to say. When there's an accumulation, which is consolidation, there's always got to be a markup. We got to look out for that markup. 
this is not a long term stock. Okay, this stock maybe is going to have his day, but right now this stock is only driven off of short squeezing trend, uh, which called it momentum traders, and and that's what it is right now. Okay, and of course on an average the stock and every thirty minutes the stock is trading about fifty two cents every thirty minutes, and if you go to daily. The stock right now is averaging about two dollars and seventy-seven cents, which means on a given day the stock can move two dollars. Okay, which means if it's seventeen right now, it comes down to sixteen. It could go back up to eighteen. Very useful information, right? If you use it correctly, um, and of course, you know this chart, uh, the video, you can always come back to it. Look at the the draw, the drawings that I have here. My drawings are, are based off of uh, daily, right? And I go to thirty minutes, right? So daily means that uh, daily means this is my hardcore. Uh, resistance and support lines okay i'm not going for the minute chart because minute is going to give you a different story right i'm going for 30 minutes to, from daily to 30 minutes okay for daily is i see what my levels are and 30 minutes is like okay what's happening on a 30 minute chart right if it's something that i can make money on quickly uh, i'll make the money otherwise my my chart goes from sometime i do from monthly i have my support resistance then i have my weeklies dailies and sometimes they line, line up so accurately that, you know, you can actually pinpoint where the stock is going to go up or down. So, again, not a long-term stock, short-term stock. Again, want to make this video. I have been, I have not made many, many videos in the last month and a half because uh, I had some personal issues that I could not get to, you know, making all the videos and posting it up. But I apologize for that. But, but again, if you're looking at the stock, definitely not a long-term stock, short-term stock. But look out for the short squeezes. And I, have, I guarantee the way the short, number, short interest is. 99% you can actually definitely make money if you catch the right moment right and again the momentum is this is right here this is your momentum right if you for example right here 1479 and suddenly the stock went all the way up to $18 that's four dollar game right there right so if you have right amount of shares you can pull off pull off some you know a lot of money right there so again uh, four phases accumulation markup distribution decline now when it, it, it done declining it's going to accumulate again which is consolidation wait for the markup get in come out you know make your money again this is not a financial advice this is just me putting the information out there what i'm planning to do with the stock and if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and i will talk to you guys later